We started the day with quite a bit of sunshine, but we're starting to see the changes make their way into the area this evening. Mostly cloudy skies have returned to the region. Lots of clouds showing up on that camera in Poplar Bluff and then a few showers trying to make their way into parts of Carter, Ripley and Butler counties off into southeastern Missouri. I think most of us are dry for the next couple of hours aside from those small rain chances uh, just off to our west. So temperature wise, if you want to get outside and enjoy some of these warm temperatures while they're around before that rain gets in, it's really not too bad. We've still got temperatures running in the low 70s. Marion coming in at 70 degrees along with Sparta. Pa uh, excuse me, Paducah coming in at 73 and then Sykeston at 73 degrees as well. So really not a bad evening. We will see the showers eventually spread eastward across the entire area overnight tonight. Widespread rain, a few rumbles of thunder possible throughout the day on Friday, and then we're tracking that warmer weather coming back as we get into the weekend, but it will come up with some pop up showers and thunderstorms. Not a washout by any means, but just something to keep an eye on if you do have any weekend plans outdoors. So here's what we've got going on right now. Again, a quick check of the radar. High pressure has shifted those winds out of the south today. And that's actually helped to warm us back up our next system just off to our west with all of that rain back across parts of Missouri and into Arkansas. That'll push eastward, bringing those rain chances back in through the overnight hours. Overnight tonight and for the next couple of hours, it will be again very isolated activity. I think the most widespread rain is going to fall across the southern half of the area. So back off into southeastern Missouri into western Kentucky. And that'll be throughout the early half of the day tomorrow. Scattered showers will still be around as we head into the afternoon. However, not quite as widespread. We could see some redevelopment as we get into the later afternoon and evening, but I think that chance is pretty small as well. So pockets have often on rain and we're really not talking about a whole lot of rainfall, especially if you're across the northern half of the viewing area. We are talking about some fairly light amounts. We're talking about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. If you're north of Route 13, south of Route 13, back into western Kentucky, northwest Tennessee, into southeastern Missouri, up to about an inch, maybe an isolated total higher than that here or there. But again, nothing that's going to cause flooding issues. Storm Track 3 app, keep that around if you have those plans. But aside from that, the rain and the clouds will keep us quite a bit cooler. Warm overnight, we'll wake up to temperatures in the 50s. But then as we get into the afternoon, high temperatures back below average. So only 66 degrees for that high tomorrow. We do see that warm weather, though, coming back just in time for the weekend. By Saturday, we'll see those temperatures back up into the upper 70s by Sunday. We're climbing up into the low 80s. And then as we look into next week, we're talking low 80s for high temperatures through nearly the entire week. We do have isolated to scattered storm chances on almost every single day, but it's kind of that summertime pattern. So it's not going to just downpour and storm all day every day, but we will see those pop up storm chances each afternoon. Yep, just need to stay weather aware, right? Yes. All right, thank you, JC.